Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So, uh, I have two things here. I'm not sure what they are. So, let's check it out. This one might be from, um, what am I trying to say? I think it's from a Kun Wu customer, but I'm not positive. Let's see. Use my XO here. Got my address on it, so. Let's see, we got, oh no, this is, uh, okay. What is that thing? Okay, hang on. This is from my boy. So what's this other one then? I don't know. Oh, it's some fidget stuff. Okay, so I'll do, I guess I'll do separate ones. Um, so this is from my boy, Chef Rocky. Shout out to Chef Rocky. Uh, he sent me his deadlock. Here's his Instagram. So definitely go check out his Instagram. At Chef Rocky C right there. And then you have his card right here. So I'll put these here. Put the other ones up in my giveaway bin. Take a look at that in a second. Comes with, uh, I guess, chapstick and uh, a tool. And then he sent this along as well. I don't know what it is. It's a little bottle of uh, a little cleaver. Oh, it actually feels kind of sharp. Um, might have a hollow grind on it. A little mini butcher knife. Look at that. Guess you could use it for opening packages. But it's like so small that it's almost like dangerous. You know what I mean? Like how are you going to hold it like this? I don't know. Okay, it's got a little slip. It's crazy. Or um, sheath. Was it this way? I do not think it was. It was this way. And then, yep. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You could just drop that in your pocket. And then you got a little knife on you everywhere. And it's relatively safe. I would be a little worried about the edge coming through here eventually. But who knows? So we got that, and then we got the piece de resistance, the Hawk Deadlock. I don't even know which version he has. Okay. So I think, I think this is a Model C, but I'm not positive. Uh, yep, yep, it's a 2022, so it should be a Model C. Um, these are crazy expensive. Yep, Model C, patent number, and then 20 CV. So these are crazy expensive. Uh, as of right now, they are like, the base is like somewhere around, I think, like $1,700 or something. It was like eleven dollars at one point or like $1,000 just a couple years ago. And now it's up like four or $500 at least. I could be off on that $1,700, but it's quite a bit. And so it's just always been sort of out of reach for me in terms of what I want to spend on an OTF. Like, I'll spend that much money, but I just... Mm, not on an OTF, especially a, a, a double-sided dagger one. I'll show you here. So there you go. And the claim to fame on the deadlock is... Wow. That is smooth. I remember at Blade Show in 2021, they had the model... I think they had the prototype of this. And... Um, I remember not, I was struggling to deploy it. This is really easy. So, yeah. My impression previously and the actual product is a, a bit different. So, that's good. Um, you do have a double-edged dagger here. Seems to be pretty sharp on both sides. Pretty tall grinds, or um, I don't know how to explain that. Like, they are thick. Like, it's thick at the center here, and then they come down like that. I don't know what the measurement would be behind the edge, and I don't really want to put my calipers to this. But the grinds look, or the edge bevels look very even as well. That spear point tip, or whatever you call it, dagger tip, looks pretty good. I would say it's leaning to this side. So, like, if you look at it... You can kind of see it kind of 
comes over to this side a little bit, I would say. Not something that's really a big deal, but, you know, for this much money, I just want to point shit out. Um, Choils look good. You know, basic shit I don't know about. Action is... Yeah, that's good. I get it now. Does kind of make me want one. Is that magnets that I'm looking at in there? What is that? Can't see it. I don't know if you can see in there. Let me there. See those two things? What is that? So there's a screw right there. And then I'm gonna try to see it myself and then I'll So that's the switch. So without you know, hitting myself in the face. It's almost like the switch magnetizes to the top of that, like right here. But it doesn't. I don't know what that is. It's interesting. One side's lower than the other. I would love to take this apart and see what's going on inside there, but... Is it proprietary? No, it's T8. Okay, sorry. Um, very, very cool. You got the logo right here. So it does kind of make me want one, actually. Um, is this titanium or, or is it an aluminum frame? Don't know. Um, I know they started doing titanium at one point. Uh, the clip is interesting. It's got this sort of clip to it. Clip, clip. Yeah, it's got like a spring in there, I guess. I, I don't know how it works. But I assume it's pretty good. The deployment action is not like super strong. But it's pretty good. And the sound's on clothes. So if they made one that wasn't a double-edged dagger, I think I'd be way more inclined because I'm just so used to putting my... Oh, shit. You see what I mean? Putting my finger up there. I would just... I would struggle to, like, cut open boxes and stuff without doing that. Um, I'm sure you get used to it, but not really something I want to spend this much money on to, you know, adjust on. So if they made one that wasn't double-edged... Man, that's so nice. I agree. I agree. Okay, blade play test. No side to side. Holy shit, yeah. There's, there's nothing there. It's a dead lock. That is impressive. Wow, really cool. All right, I get it. I understand the hype now, guys. That is just super fun. I don't know what maintenance is like on these. You know? But, um, yeah. So, I'll do a full review, most likely. Um, really appreciate uh, Rocky for sending this my way, dude. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate that. Definitely check out his Instagram, at chef underscore Rocky C. And uh, follow him for some cool stuff. Cool logo. It's that 3D checkered carbon fiber. It's not my favorite type of carbon fiber. Um, but it is good. I know they had fat carbon ones at Blade Show last year. But they were like... It was Blade West. But yeah, they started at like 17 or 1800. So, I don't know. Maybe the base one's more like 13. I don't know. But cool piece. So I'll, uh, I'll be checking it out, and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks to Chef Rocky. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.